Say hello to Max. He's two different colored eyes. One's blue, one's green. Why do you seem so scared? Welcome to Parents TV if you're new and welcome back if you're not. Today we will be recapping my trigger object experiment. If you haven't seen that video, I will throw that up in the cards for you guys. But I just want to touch on it real quickly here because I will be talking about anything noteworthy in that video. I'll be talking about it here. I could be all about the views and say, I won't be talking about everything noteworthy. Go check it out because something really cool happened. But no, I will be talking about all the noteworthy things that had happened throughout the whole time of the experiment. But if you want to see it, by all means, some cool things happen, go check that out. In that video, I took my haunted Chicago doll that I have done videos about before. I took him and I took Natasha, my best friend's tarot cards that she believes to be haunted, and I put them in a box together. So I put them in a box with some amethyst stones and some smoky quartz to help promote spirit activity. I also put my thermometer in there as well. Now you guys can see this thermometer in the video. You could see the door in the reflection of the thermometer, which is important information. The door never closes, never opens. The only time it opens is in when the experiment is over and we walk in. I have a bright light in my eyes right now. I'm feeling very blinded. In the beginning of the video, the camera angle kind of changes and I don't really show you guys why but I knocked the camera over and I could have left it in but honestly I knew it was going to be a longer video. I mean it wasn't real long but it's kind of boring when nothing is happening so I didn't want to make this like a 10 minute long video. I fast forward when nothing had happened in the video so basically I cut that out. I had bumped into the camera so I accidentally knocked it over and I picked it up. Tasha laughed at me, I laughed at me, I put the camera on me, it's like, oops, sorry, I knocked it over, put it back, made sure I was not near the camera when I got, when I moved again, and walked out the door. So that is kind of what happened. I didn't want to put a minute and a half of that into the video, so I just took it right out, but you guys wouldn't care if I told you guys in the recap later. The first thing that happened in this video was there was this whistling, and originally I heard the whistling and thought, it's an ambulance. So I upped the volume of the whistling and discovered, no, that is not the sound that an ambulance makes. That is not an ambulance. I thought it was an ambulance outside. It's not the wind because we captured the wind earlier that day on my camera. And yes, some wind was blowing, but it was not the howling, whistling kind of wind. It was just that wind that came in briefly, ended quickly. That's why I'm able to roll out the wind. The fact that I caught it on my camera earlier, I know what the wind sounded like on my camera. And this is not the wind, and it was not that type of, of like gusty whistling, howling that you would get in a storm. In my opinion, it kind of sounded like um, interference, like a radio interference or something. It kind of had that that weird, um, high pitched whistling sound to it. But it doesn't make any sense. We didn't have any radios on. And my camera was the only thing really going, my camera and the thermometer, and there should be no frequency issues with either one of those such, one of those things, there just shouldn't be. So I don't really know what the whistling was. I don't think it came from outside. I don't think I could have caught that if it came from outside because it was whistling. It wasn't very loud. I just don't see me catching that. I caught a voice followed by a bang. Now all by another voice I think actually it's how my voice bang voice and I don't think this was outside but I couldn't 100% rule that it happened outside 
I want to say in my experience, I've filmed here many times. I've heard people outside with my ears. My camera's not sensitive. My camera was not sensitive enough to pick it up. So I feel like no, nothing happened outside. I didn't hear anything outside. I, I was outside during this experiment. I didn't hear anything outside. Um, I didn't hear any bangs. I have filmed here many times in the past and I haven't caught any noises from outside even when there are noises outside going on. Still haven't caught it on my camera. Not sensitive enough. Um, I also did not have my camera near the window. My camera was in the middle of the floor and not near the window. So my camera had the hardest time focusing on these items which was really weird because it was everything was stationary. Nothing was moving. And it would go from being able to focus to not being able to focus. Sometimes there were long periods of not focusing. And sometimes there were long periods of just pure blurriness. Now, my camera focused earlier. It focused on my face. It also focused when I originally set up my camera. It focused on the items in the box. The only time it was not focusing on... The items in the original shot was when I had put everything in and I was putting in the stones and putting them near the the two haunted items so that was the only time that I didn't focus but something was coming in and out of the shot but as soon as we left it just got blurry it just seemed like something was interfering with the focus of my camera for most of my videos you can tell I don't really have that problem sometimes when I shift it will need to refocus but I'm moving and that's kind of more explanatory. You know, there's an explanation there behind that and I don't really know why it was so hard for my camera to focus on the items. These things did not happen one after the other. I do want to add that in. I had sped up the time in between the clips because like I said, if I didn't, you would have to sit through almost a 20 minute video. I think it was like over 18 minutes, rearing 19 minutes. And who wants to sit through that? Because there will be nothing happening for like five minutes of a time and then like three minutes and then four minutes. Like, that's a lot of time to sit through. That's a lot of time to dedicate to watching this video. You probably won't even make it to the good stuff at that point. So I just kind of sped through moments where nothing happened. I did put this in the video. I want you guys to know that that is what was happening so that is in text in the video so there was another bang and I don't know where the bang came from you can see in my thermometer the door is closed no one entered the room so it's a mysterious bang we don't know where it came from there's something like a footstep near my camera and again door in view nobody came in and then one more thing happened that um, again you could see the door in view for it did not open my camera moved really quickly and I actually almost missed this. I had watched the whole thing, did not notice it moving, watched it a second time to make sure I was being thorough and I didn't miss anything. And sure enough, I missed the best thing of all. The best thing of all, the camera movement. I couldn't believe that it moved. So there was some slight temperature changes in this video and at this point in time there was a slight temperature change. Now it's in a crowded box. I expect it to get a little warmer in the crowded box. Just wanted to throw that out there that I don't think if it got warmer it was necessarily anything spiritual. I think it was just it was in a box and inside that box there were multiple items and it got a little warmer because of that. The focusing trouble seemed to increase a lot more at this time, um, more so than before, and this seems to be a pattern that it just increases more throughout the video. There was also a low whisper. This whisper was really low, so it was too low to really catch from outside. I wouldn't be able to catch some, something that was so quiet, you know, and it was very faint. And again, this is something that I really had to pay attention to or else I wouldn't have caught it. So more temperature changes, it started at 69 degrees and then it went to 70.3 I think? Oh, let me look. 69 degrees, 70.5, 70.3, and then 70.2. That's how it went. So I was not shocked from it going to 69 to 70.5. Like I said before, 
this was expected. I expected it to get a little warmer. I did go down to 72 at the lowest, but that, I don't find that very noteworthy. It's such a small reading that I feel like I can overlook that. I don't feel like it was supernatural. So something that I muted actually was a car horn beeping loudly. I didn't think this was important for you guys to hear. I did add it in text that a car horn beat loudly outside and I had heard it and I had recognized that it was a car horn. I didn't think it was something that you guys really would care to hear in the video. So I just muted it and kept the creepy music playing. So one of the last things that happened was that it was blurry for a minute and a half and I edited it and I had sped it up like I said because there hadn't been a lot happening and I think there was like five minutes of nothing happening maybe a little more at this point so I had sped it up so you guys wouldn't be too bored and been sitting there waiting for something to happen and I just sped it up and put some creepy music in since nothing had been happening. Um, but yeah, it was blurry for a minute and a half, which was really odd. I mean, it was straight blurry for a minute and a half. It wasn't like focused and then not focused and then focused. The whole minute and a half, it was blurry. So this was almost a 19 minute video and these are the things that had happened within that time. I just kind of wanted to recap it with you guys, which was funny because somebody had just asked me if I could recap it and I was planning on doing it today and I had my my notes written out because I wanted to make sure I didn't forget to touch on anything. Let me know what you thought of the video down below and let me know if you would like to see more experimental videos like this in the future because I can do so. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video guys. Bye!